Hi friends, I'm Vikas here from Networkers Home and today's topic that we have for this video is Gaia, Gaia operating system. So Gaia is the base operating system that you require in that is used in checkpoint to secure the checkpoint communication, right? Now this is the operating system of the firewall and not the firewall itself. This is, it's a very important thing to understand here what I'm saying that Gaia is the operating system to secure the firewall and it's not a firewall in it itself. It's basically the base operating system plus the routing functionality of the firewall, right? So let me explain you. These are a couple of features. We'll come back to this. Uh, first, I'll go here and I'll tell you how the implementation happens. So if you have watched the last video where I did the, the installation of the firewall, you might have noticed that the first thing that I installed was Gaia operating system right on the top of it I installed the secure gateway or secure management right so this is how it basically works let me draw it so here I have a Gaia OS on the top of it either I have a secure gateway which is basically I'll just explain you what is that Okay, or we have the SMS secure management, secure management server. So, right. So what we did in the video was that we installed secure management and secure gateway on the single Gaia operating system, right? But we do have a choice. We can, you know, uh, do it in the, that's, if you're installing it in, the gateway and the, the secure management server and secure gateway in the single OS. Let me write it here, secure gateway in a single VM, in a single virtual environment or in single uh, uh, hardware, basically that is going to be called the standalone mode. And if you do it in distributed manner where your gateway is here and your basically let me pick up this tool. Your secure management somewhere is somewhere else and that will be called distributed installation. Now, coming back to the Gaia operating system, Gaia is what provides you the base operating system. So, what does the base operating system has? It has the, it says a secure Linux kernel where you have all the directories and all the files being saved, all your configuration files and logs and everything else is being saved. On the top of it, you have the operating system, which is Gaia, which provides you all routing functions, your interface configs, specialized functions of interfaces, etc. Right? Then you have basically NTP kind of feature, SMTP, SNMP, and all those kind of functionalities basically are provided by whom? By they are provided by Gaia. Right? So now we'll come back to the document here. The Gaia operating system can provide you connectivity with, you know, the interfaces can be configured with IPv4, IPv6. Routing protocol also support both the IPv4 and IPv6. You can have, it's a 64-bit operating system which will support more connections. Uh, you can do load sharing. Load sharing is basically, you can either use in clustering or you can do uh, the port channel here. Uh, high availability is supported. Routing protocols, as I was talking about, BGP, OSP of RIP, PIM, they are all supported. You can configure everything using CLI or you can use a graphical interface. Gaia has a beautiful graphical interface and all other functions basically are there. Right, so that's basically what Gaia provides you. And uh, let me turn on the VM here so that I can basically show you the connectivity as well. So what's basically booting right now is Gaia, right? And uh, we have not even gone to any of the other stuff. Before the firewall comes in, what I'll do is I'll show you the whole hierarchy. So basically the first thing that you have is Gaia. Then let's say you are basically, uh, you have a secure gateway, which is being managed by the smart or secure server. So secure management. 
management server is basically managing your secure gateway and this is your Gaia okay so what do you have in secure gateway that the secure management server will basically manage the secure gateway right consists of the blades various blades what are the blades we have we have around 15 blades now so starting with the most basic is firewall then we have url filters your filtering blade then we have threat detection then we have data loss prevention we have blades for vpn we have blades for identity awareness we have blades for intrusion prevention system and then we have a couple of more blades anti-boat anti uh, you know uh, some other stuff so basically a huge amount of that uh, stuff is there right so all that is there in the secure gateway so when we were basically installing for the first time you saw that in my installation video i explained you that this right now what is going on was the Gaia operating system installation and after that I showed you that secure gateway software was basically loaded or the blades were basically copied and they were basically installed in a different process this process was all graphical if you remember it now can we have secure gateway through CLI that's not possible you have to install it using the web UI checkpoint doesn't provide you even if you try to go to CLI the first time installation of secure gateway has to be through web interface while the Gaia was through console right so these are the two important things here and then the management of these blades whatever configuration you want to do if you have one gateway or multiple gateway it doesn't matter secure management server which is basically the smart console server now that will basically be doing configuration you will have the configuration here and this configuration whatever you do in secure management gateway will be basically applied to the gateway it could be one gateway as i said or it could be multiple gateways they can be managed using uh, the central controller which is called secure management server so this is all about gaia guys i am uh, sure you guys are clear about it and i'll hope to see you in the next video then